Arduino's website, part two, CSS basics. Our mission, in this lesson we'll learn three new things, what CSS is and how to add it to your site. Two, how to structure your document properly, and three, how to add common styles to your site. This will get us even closer to the final design. Let's get started. CSS basics. What is HTML? HTML is the structure of the content that goes inside the tags. Browsers provide default style, but it's pretty ugly by itself. What is CSS? CSS controls the style of the HTML content. It lets you change colors, fonts, layout, and more. For small projects like this, the easiest way to add CSS to your HTML file is by using a style tag. You could also include an external style sheet, but we'll learn about that later. On the first line, before everything else, write style, open and close. I did it. Write this in your style tag. Quick tip, be sure to include the line breaks and tabs. These help make your code more readable. Okay, so we're going to go style h1. And then text align center. And then okay, next. Let's take a closer look at the code you just wrote. The selector H1. This is where you choose which HTML element you want to add style to. So that's going to add it to Anna Dowling. Um, in this example, we select all the H1 elements. Curly brackets. All styles inside these will apply to the HTML elements chosen by the selector. Three is the property. A property controls one aspect of an HTML element style, such as text align, color, width, background, etc. Value. The value goes with the property. In this case, text align's value could be left, right, center, or justify. You can have multiple styles in the same style tag. So this is saying the heading text is aligned center and the paragraph text aligned is center. Make a new style that centers the text in the P tag. So we're going to go P. And I messed this one up because I did not spell the line correct. Center, and then we got to end this with the curly brackets, and we did it. So it made all of this centered. That's cool, but if I want to make everything centered, do I really need a new style for each individual element? Can I just select them all at once? Good question. We'll show you how to do that next. Document structure. The best way to select all elements at all elements at once is to have a parent element that contains all the other elements. Luckily, HTML gives us a tag called body that's explicitly designed for that purpose. The body tag wraps around all the content that's displayed on the page. Wrap a body tag around the H1, P, and input elements. So, body and input. So, Close it here. Did it. Now you can make one body style. And the body style will affect all the elements inside the body tags. Make everything in the body centered by styling the body. So here we're going to do body. And we can get rid of that. And we did it. Before body, we always start with another tag called head. It wraps around the style tag and other elements that are not content on the page itself, such as the title tag. The title tag controls what shows up in the browser tab. For example, title, Anna Dowling title, would show up like this. Good to know. Wrap a head tag around your style tag. So head, put title in the head 
above the style tag. So we're going to do title Anna Dallin. Oops. Okay. tag around your style tag. So does that just go, do I close it right there? Yes, did it. Woo, almost done with this part. Just one more thing. To have a valid HTML document, we need to tell the browser we're using HTML5. It's easy to do. Just write doc type HTML on the first line before everything else. Okay. That tells the browser we're using the newest version, HTML5. Okay. Together, the doc type head and body make up the basic foundation slash structure that every website starts from. Sometimes this is called boilerplate. Doc type head, meta info, head, body, content, body. Good to know. Common styles. Great job. Let's add a few more styles to the body before we wrap up. You can change the background's color using the background property. Okay, set the body's background to black. So we're gonna use background black. Nice, except for now we can't see in his name. The color property is for text. Okay, so color. Now let's see what they want us to put. Change the color of the body's text to white. So white. Now we can see it again. The font family property lets you change the font. Let me guess. It's going to say change the font. Change the body's font family to Helvetica. So font family Helvetica. And we did it. Wow, you're making really great progress. I can't wait to see the next iteration of my site. Keep going. Great work. You just learned the basics of CSS. You're done. Great job.